Welcome to Review Recapped. Today we will be showing you a sci-fi zombie thriller movie, named Army of the Dead. Spoilers ahead. Relax and enjoy. The movie opens showing a convoy of soldiers transporting a highly classified package from Area 51. As the soldiers speculate as to what it could be. A scene at the same time is shown that a newlywed couple is driving down the same road. The husband becomes distracted as the newlywed couple is making out. The couple crashes into the truck, blowing themselves up while the payload comes loose. The soldiers approach it and are met by a humongous zombie, Zeus, who proceeds to tear the soldiers apart. He corners the two drivers and rips one's jaw off before biting the other one. The two become zombies, and Zeus has his sights set on Las Vegas. Zombies soon start to overrun Vegas, leading several mercenaries to head in and eliminate as many creatures as possible. Many casualties occur, but soon the whole city is separated from the rest of the world. Years pass, and one of the mercenaries, Scott Ward is working at a diner when he is approached by billionaire casino owner Bly Tanaka. He informs Scott that there is $200 million beneath the Vegas Strip under his hotel, and he wants Scott and a team to get the money before the government nukes Vegas to wipe out all the zombies. Tanaka tells Scott that he can take $50 million and split it amongst his crew. Scott's daughter Kate works as a volunteer at a quarantine zone camp. She is friends with a woman named Gita and helps her look after her two kids. Gita wants to enlist the aid of a woman named Lily, also known as the Coyote, who helps smuggle people out of the camp past the city. Gita just wants to get enough money to bribe the guards to get her and her kids out of the camps. The ladies are then harassed by a volatile guard named Bert, who looks for whatever excuse he can to harass the women. Scott is haunted by the fact that he was forced to kill his wife in front of Kate after she became a zombie, and it is part of why Kate hasn't seen him in years. He reluctantly agrees with Tanaka to go through with the job. Scott begins by recruiting an old friend and teammate, Maria Cruz, who is working as a mechanic. She doesn't hesitate to join Scott, and they go recruit another former teammate, Vander Ohe, who works at a retirement home. They then go after safecracker Ludwig Dieter, helicopter pilot Marianne Peters, and zombie killer Mikey Guzman. The team goes to meet Tanaka to go over the plan. Guzman brings two other members, Damon and Chambers, although Damon leaves when he learns that zombies are involved. Tanaka gives the team blueprints for the job, and he sends them with his right-hand man Martin. They head towards the city's entrance, where Scott reunites with Kate, although it is obviously a rough reunion. They recruit Lily to join them, but when Kate learns that Gita asked Lily for help and didn't come back from the city with her, Kate punches Lily in the face. Lily insists that she did not intend to leave Gita behind, but there is a possibility she is still alive. Kate decides to join the team, despite Scott's objections. Lily also manages to get Cummings to go along, claiming she needs one more guy. The team makes it into Vegas, where they find a zombie tiger named Valentine guarding the outside. As they proceed to move forward, Lily shoots Cummings in the leg and ties him up, stating that there are smarter, stronger, alpha zombies out there, and she intended to bring Cummings as an offering in retribution for him raping the women at the camps. The team hides while the queen of the zombies, the bride, comes by to sniff Cummings before she and another zombie drag him away to the Olympus Casino, where Kate thinks Gita may be. Sure enough, Cummings is brought before Zeus and his horde of alpha zombies, and Zeus turns the cowardly guard into one of them with a bite. Later it's shown that the team moves forward underground, where Lily warns them about the hibernating zombies. They attempt to move quietly past the zombies, but Chambers accidentally bumps into one. She stabs it in the head, but another wakes up. Head stab. Then another wakes up. Head stab. The last one's arm causes some trays to slide down, causing noise that wakes all the zombies up. The team starts to fire on them, and Chambers manages to kill a few, but she becomes overwhelmed and bitten. She looks to Guzman, who remorsefully shoots one of her gas tanks to blow her and the other zombies up so that the others can get out. The team makes it further in, where they discover more blueprints to the building, meaning Tanaka has had other teams come in and die for his money. Martin claims to deny knowing anything about it. The team splits up, with Martin and Lily going to do a perimeter check, Peter starting up the helicopter, Dieter joining Van der Rohe and Guzman to the vault, and Scott and Kate go to turn on the power. While together, Scott and Kate discuss them being estranged, which Kate says had more to do with Scott not being there for her after her mom died. Meanwhile, Dieter tries to find a safe way into the safe when he and the others find multiple skeletons of other mercenaries. The movie gets more exciting when outside, Martin and Lily encounter the bride. Martin manages to overpower her and behead her, telling Lily that the head is worth more than what is in the vault. 
Zeus later rides by on his zombie horse with his own bulletproof helmet and finds the bride's headless body. He mourns her and pulls out, their unborn zombie baby. He roars and leads the other alphas to get the humans. Vander Ohe and Guzman find a zombie to use as bait by tossing a microwaved hand to the end of the hall so that he can set off all the booby traps and leave the path safe for the other three. At the same time, the others learn that the nuke launch has been moved up, leaving them until sunset to get the money and flee. The helicopter starts to malfunction, and Peters has to fix it. The rest of the team reconvenes down by the vault, where Dieter successfully opens it. The team rejoices in their discovery and starts to take their shares out. On their way out, Maria admits to Scott that she agreed to the mission not for the money, but for him. He admits that he thought he messed things up between them after the outbreak, but it appears they are willing to give it another shot, and then an elevator full of zombies comes down. One of them grabs Maria's head and twists it 180 degrees, to Scott's horror, but he is forced to fight and run. Meanwhile, Martin traps Lily as he escapes with the bride's head, saying that that's what Tanaka wanted all along, with the intention of using her DNA to create a whole zombie army to control. Dieter and Vanderohe fight off the zombies near the vault, but Dieter is killed while Vanderohe becomes trapped inside the vault when it shuts. The team continues to try and escape, but Guzman is bitten and sets off grenades to kill the zombies and himself. Martin tries to make off with the head but is found by Valentine, who tosses him around viciously until finally making a meal out of Martin's head. Scott and Lily make it to the fixed helicopter, but they are found by Zeus, Lily holds the bride's head, having switched it before Martin found out, and uses it to hold Zeus off while Scott and Peters get away. Zeus impales Lily with a bar, but she tosses the bride's head and makes it splatter on the pavement before Zeus can get it. Scott realizes that Kate went to the Olympus to try and find Gita, and he convinces Peters to help him find her. Kate finds Gita and another woman named Sadie. They encounter the zombified Cummings, who kill Sadie before the other zombies show up. Kate shoots Cummings in the head while trying to get away with Gita. The two encounter Scott, who holds Zeus off with a grenade. They make it to the roof, where Peters appears to have left them, but she comes back after changing her mind. As they fly away Zeus jumps onto the chopper and fights Scott. Peters attempts to fly fast enough just as the nuke drops onto Vegas. In the ensuing chaos, Zeus bites Scott in the arm, but he manages to grab his gun and blow Zeus's head off. The impact of the blast catches up to the chopper and causes it to crash, killing Peters and Gita. Kate survives and goes to Scott, who is dying. He gives her enough money to help Gita's kids get out of the camp. Heartbreaking scene of the movie shows that she tearfully says goodbye to her father and shoots him in the head when he becomes a zombie. Kate breaks down just as another helicopter comes to recover her. The movie ends showing the ruins of Vegas, Van der Rohe emerges from the vault with his shares of the money. He finds a car and drives to an airport, where he rents a private jet. As he does a toast with the stewardesses, he starts to feel dizzy. Van der Rohe goes to the bathroom and discovers a bite mark on his arm. And the pilot says they are about to descend into Mexico City. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. And help us grow by turning on the notifications.